A video is gaining popularity on social networks, in which Russian blogger and Z volunteer Evgeny Golman said that the Russian army practices executions and reprisals against unwanted fighters who refuse to pay the command. He sharply criticized Russian propaganda and personally Skabeva for lying as well as the command and demanded that the situation be urgently sorted out. What's going on in the army? The guys are being reset for not paying their share. According to Skabeva, it turns out that we've already walked around the earth twice. But in reality, there's a brutal war going on. He declares, listing the most brutal practices of the Russian army, which are applied to Russian soldiers, he noted the dispatch of assault squads of soldiers who have been trained to operate drones. Bureaucracy and lies have engulfed various structures of the Russian armed forces, and headquarters are drowning in paper reports. At the same time, betrayal also occurs in the rear, where prices are constantly rising and the country's authorities do not react to the war crimes of commanders against Russian soldiers in the combat zone. Russian frontline soldiers have a system of bribes to purchase various services including injuries, leave, rotation and even to avoid active combat altogether. According to the Ukrainian underground within the Western military district of the Russian armed forces, there is an increase in the number of convictions under the article on fraud with payments in garrison courts in Russia. In particular, it is noted that after the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation and especially over the past six months, within the Kursk, Bryansk and Belgorod regions, Commanders of various levels in their units provide servicemen with various so-called benefits. These benefits include a new military rank, days off, vacations and new category of sea drivers licenses for a certain amount of money. There is also a new trend of fraudulent schemes by the enemy forces. Russian commanders have started selling so-called kickbacks, fictitious certificates of injury, inclusion in the list of state awards for participation in the war against Ukraine, and the ability to avoid punishment for using personal smartphones. Kickbacks are also used to avoid combat missions, i.e. to be sent to the front line. The Russian army loses one soldier for every 2.5 square meters of occupied Ukrainian territory. This was stated by the deputy head of the Ukrainian mission to the OSCE, Natalia Kostenko, at a meeting of the OSCE Forum for Security Cooperation. The Russian military leadership relies heavily on cannon fodder tactics, demonstrating that it can only achieve progress at a cost that any other country would find unacceptable. It has been calculated that every 2.5 square meters of Russian advance in Ukraine costs the Russian occupiers the life of one soldier, Kostenko said. In particular, Kostenko noted that the Ugladar campaign speaks most eloquently about the enemy's meat tactics. The occupiers captured the city after hundreds of daily attempts to break through the Ukrainian defense. Russian propaganda has already declared this a strategic victory, but in reality, the occupiers had been moving towards this for two years with a predominant amount of manpower, artillery and aviation. Instead, they captured ruins. The Ukrainian military continues to identify and destroy military headquarters of the Russian occupation forces, logistics and communication routes and ammunition depots. In particular, last week, our troops successfully destroyed the command posts of the 35th and 27th Motorized Rifle Brigades, as well as the command post of the 2nd Combined Arms Army of the Russian Federation, she concluded. In September, Russia suffered the heaviest losses on the front since the start of the full-scale invasion, with average daily losses exceeding a 1,000 soldiers, the Telegraph reports. British military intelligence stated that September was the deadliest month for the Russian army since the start of the war in Ukraine, as reported on Monday. The average level of losses for the Russian army rose to 1,271 soldiers killed or seriously wounded per day. Previously, the highest daily loss rate among Russian soldiers was in May, with an average of 1,262 military personnel killed or injured. Moreover, September marked the fifth consecutive month in which Russian losses exceeded 1,000 soldiers per day. Analysts suggest that the high level of casualties is linked to the Russian tactic of mass infantry assaults, which often involves meat wave attacks, where a large number of troops are sent to storm Ukrainian defense positions. The UK Ministry of Defense reported that Russia has lost nearly 650,000 soldiers since the invasion began in February 2022.
Its losses averaged between 172 and 559 soldiers per day in 2022, peaking at 967 in 2023.